Have you uh, started camp yet for, for Lee, for Kevin Lee? Uh, I mean, I don't really like start. I don't have like a start date. I'm like my, I just I'm always kind of like training, but definitely increasing the intensity, um, picking it up a lot. Yeah, it's, we're in the we're in the thick of it right now. I'm, I'm coming home sore and, and beat up, but definitely taking uh, some time to rest when I need it. Is know, there a point now where you kind of put the real estate on the back burner and then yeah, that's, focus on yeah, right? That's uh. I've got an open house tomorrow, and that'll be. It. That house will, that house will <laughs> sell. That, one that house will sell tomorrow, and then that's it. We're we're, uh, we're just fighting. How many bedrooms? <laughs> Legally. <laughs> got three. What are you advertising? What are you advertising? <laughs> uh, Edit that out. I can't help myself. You know this. <laughs> uh, how do you think Kevin's games improved since the first time you guys fought? Are you, uh, are you preparing for him any differently this time than the first time around? Ah, uh, he's definitely bigger and stronger, more mature, you know, as a fighter. Uh, probably less mature as a person. <laughs> um, he's 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 polished. He's seasoned. You know, he's been in there with. Now he's been in there with really tough guys. You yeah. know, I think, I I think he's he was cocky when he came into the UFC. He kind of thought that he was going to run through everything and. Um, I remember at the at our way, I was his first fight in the UFC at the way, and he said to Dana White something. He was like, "Get your checkbook ready, you know, I'm, I'm coming to take over or whatever." So I definitely humbled him there, and uh, you know, he changed his life. He moved to Vegas. He switched camps. He, you know, so I, I think I, I've been in the guy's head for a while, and he's been really looking forward to this. So there's two, you know, there's two kind of ways this goes. He's he's been. He's definitely put in the work. He's all in. You know, a guy willing to get up and move to Las Vegas because he thinks there's a better, uh, you know, there's a better team there, is definitely serious. And uh, he's coming to, to put it on me. I know that for sure. But um, on the other hand, I've, I've, I've been with Ray. I've been with Matt. These guys forever. We have such a good bond. You know, Favola coming over is Aljo Weidman. I just have. You know, I don't think he has anybody like that in his team that really is, is, you know, I don't think he's got like a family like like I have. Yeah. Um, and not saying that's going to win me the fight because I'm the one fighting, but uh, I just feel like I, I put in so much work in my life that uh, I just I have to beat this guy. It's, that's it. Al, there were things that you didn't love about the Gaethje fight back in August. Why was this the right fight for you, and, and why was this timing correct? Everything was correct about this, and nothing was correct about the last one. It was like injuries coming off that could be fight. I was still banged up. They, you know, it was kind of like uh, it was quick. I wasn't uh, I wasn't happy with a few other things. It was just it was you know it just wasn't right. I and mean, this is this is definitely a, a better fight. He's he's a I think it's an intriguing matchup. It's just every everything everything about it I like. You know, and he's, he's he's just as tough, if not tougher. He he might even be just as tough, if not tougher than Khabib. He's uh, you know he's the way he put it on. Uh, I was sitting in front row at, at his last fight with Barbosa, and uh, I was like, I don't want to be Barbosa right now. It's, it was brutal. It was not fun to watch. So I'm training my ass off because I'm I'm gonna be the one doing that to him for sure. How does five rounds change the dynamic? I think it's in my favor. I, I, I think, I always think the cardio, the longer it goes, is in my favor. You know, I think that's, yeah, I think it's in my favor. Kevin's obviously a talker. Does it make it more fun preparing for a guy who, you know, gets a chance to shut up a little bit? He's been awful quiet lately. <laughs> so have I, you know. I think we both realize this is not, you know, the talking was in the past. Now we're, now it's business, you know, now it's, 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 it's for real. We signed the contract, it's on. Do you have an extra swagger about you now that you did as well as you did in the Khabib fight on a day's notice? I don't know about an extra swagger. I mean, I definitely um, definitely shoved it in Connor's face when he was talking about my, uh, you know, real estate, whatever. You know, <laughs> so, you know, he kind of he kind of put me down in the lead up to that fight. Yeah. So it was it was uh, it made me feel good about myself. Did you see Rogan singing your praises with John Kavanaugh? Well, loved it. Yeah, no, I, Joe Rogan's he's. He's uh, he's been hyping me up a lot about that fight, and I thought it was, you know, was, I think it was well deserved. I put on a freaking, I, I, I fought my ass off in that fight. So you're gonna be the final fight that ever airs on Big Fox for the UFC. Does that mean anything to you? 
Uh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's cool. It's. I think just being on Fox is. This is like my first headliner on Fox. I think that's the big. That's what's really cool for me. I don't know if it's the uh, the last one. I guess that's cool too. Yeah. You know, just send them off. <laughs> The, the Connor tweets, did you get any response to that more than anything else? I saw they blew up a little bit. Yeah, I had a couple of drinks and I was watching that fight. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ha you fucking pussy. <laughs> you know, you talked all that shit. You got to just die in there. You can't quick tap. You know, I, even if you got his neck wrenched, wrenched a little bit, you know, if you talk all that and then you lose, you got to you gotta allow him to, you know, finish you off. Do the, do the deed, you know, he kind of just, I don't know, I, I just, I, I hope, I just pray I never go out like that, ever. Do you not think he's got that kind of, I don't know how to put this, maybe like that fighter's instinct, just to kind of grit that out and bite down on the gum shield and get through that? I don't know if he had it when he didn't have money. I don't know, when he was like broke and taking whatever he was taking from the government, I don't know if he had that in him then. Now he's got millions of dollars, so I, it's hard to gain that when you're with the saying with the satin sheets thing running or whatever it was you know you know you guys know what I'm talking about there's like it's hard to wake up and run in satin sheets or whatever so I think it's got a little bit of that to do with it yeah I think you also tweeted about when he when he was caught on I guess audio saying it's only business in the corner yeah I don't know what, what, I, is, what do you think that meant I so then some people said he didn't say that or some people said he did so I don't know I don't know I mean, at first I thought it was it's all business kind of thing your third round you're a little tired and you know it's kind of like an ease up on me without saying ease up on me kind of thing you know kind of like uh, I'm sorry for making fun of serious things that you, I now I see you're really taking this serious and you really have things really bothered you so maybe um, I'm taking the you know, the, the easy way out, or not even the easy way, but just trying to ease the, the beating, something. How'd you feel seeing Khabib fly out of the octagon like that? And that was crazy. <laughs> we were all sitting there just like, what is going on right now? This is insane. Uh, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make you feel any different about the bus incident? Like they're even now, one on one outside the octagon? I don't know. The bus incident's kind of like a different thing. Yeah. It's kind of, well, it's a little. A little uh, more criminal, you know. You're not going after a innocent it, girls on the bus, UFC employees. The bus driver doesn't probably doesn't even watch fighting. He doesn't even know what the <laughs> hell is going on, you know. But that was I was on that bus and that was not cool. That was I thought we were getting I thought we were all dying. I thought we were yeah. there was things falling through the window. That was that was scary. Reed Harris is yelling, "What's going on?" And Provino put his head. He was sitting like this and he put his head like that. In the position, like the airplane position, where you when the plane's going down, mm -hmm. and Khabib was making fun of him, he was going, <laughs> "Provino, you got in the airplane position. You thought the plane, you thought the plane was crashing." It was, it was <laughs> that guy was, it was crazy. Everyone it was the mayhem, mayhem. In the immediate aftermath of like Khabib jumping out, there was, you know, obviously Dana was upset. There was a lot of sort of hang wringing about what, it, how the way it presented the sport. I mean, you don't, you seem like you kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, was that partially because like rest. you wanted maybe a bit of revenge for what happened? I mean, Khabib got to get his hands on Connor in the cage, but I mean, is, do you want some revenge of some sort? Do I want revenge on? Yeah, but like, what happened? You in that bus? Bring it. Um, no, no, I don't. I was sitting in the back. I once I saw Connor, I thought it was all funny. I realized what was going on. I just pulled out my phone and started filming. But um, yeah, no, I, was, I don't want to. I don't, I'm not a big like revenge person. I don't think. Do you think there's any chance if you beat Kevin that you might fight Connor at some point? Absolutely. Yeah. I just I gotta win that fight for sure. But yeah, this is a hundred percent. How do you feel about Weidman tonight versus Jackery? I think it's a. I think it's a. It's a. I would have liked to see him fight Luke. He was really excited to fight Luke and you know get that one back. But I think Jackery. Might be a, uh, it's a different fight, but I think I feel good about it. Yeah. I, I feel I think Chris is ready to go. He's he's uh, he's looked the best he's looked. I mean, he's looked the best he's looked. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.